Today, we'll be going over how I prefer to do t-shirts in Blender. This will include sewing, as well as very minor sculpting, but mostly it all hinges on simulation. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, today, we're going to be going over how to make t-shirts in Blender. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is do Shift A, Mesh, and then Plane. So here's our plane. Now let's do RX90 to get it so it's nice and even with our character. Let's just do GZ and raise that up. And if you've seen any of my other clothing videos, you'll know a lot of this stuff. So if you do know it, you can skip ahead. Let's do GY, move it back. And what we want is to get rid of this little collision that's happening with our character. So I'm going to do GY and just using the arrows on my keyboard, I'm just going to tap this back. And there we go. So now it's very close to my character and that's going to help when we do the sewing um, simulation. Because if you don't have it as close as you possibly can, you're going to have a lot more issues when doing your sewing animation. Okay, so now let's hit one on your keyboard to get to this view mode. My goal is to make um, kind of a fun baggy t-shirt for this character. So I'm going to do tab and I prefer to be in my vertices select mode up here. And now that I see my vertices, I'm also going to toggle on uh, x-ray mode so we can see behind that plane. We're just going to slowly shape this. So I'm going to select both these top ones, SX, and I am going to try and shape this um, in roughly the pattern I think a t-shirt would be. Uh, so now I'm going to just drag these up, GZ. And so one of the first things I'm going to do is drag this up enough so that I can actually create the sleeves. So I switched to edge select mode. Now that we're in edge select mode, select these two outer vertices and we're going to create the sleeves for our character. So when those are selected, then hit on your keyboard, E, S, X. And by doing that, we're going to be scaling these in the opposite directions, as you can see. And now it depends really what you want to accomplish with the type of sleeves of your character. I think I'm going to end up wanting shorter sleeves. So for now, these are a little lopsided for me. So now I'm just going to rotate these and just do your best approximation. These do not have to be perfect. And now that I have both of these oriented the way I want, I'm going to do S Z to scale on the Z axis. And I kind of want uh, slightly baggier uh, like sleeves because I think that would look nice for a baggy shirt. So I'm going to leave it just about what it is. And I'm going to go back into vertices select mode. And now we need to add a collar to this shirt. So to add a collar, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an edge loop. So I'm going to do control R, then type in two. And now you'll see I've got these vertices. I'm going to select this edge over here and then hold control and select this edge, then hit E and then Z. And that'll give us a nice long t-shirt. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to select these outer edges and the goal now is to round our t-shirt at the bottom because once you do enough of the sewing, you'll notice that if you round it a little bit at the bottom before you actually do the sewing, it'll help it to look a little bit more normal. I have these two outer vertices selected. I'm going to do G, Z, bring them up slightly. And now we just have a nice rounded uh, edge at the bottom and that'll help a lot. So now let's work on our collar a little bit. So I'm going to do S, X to scale these vertices out, maybe S or uh, G, Z to bring them up a little bit. And now let's fix these ones because they're going a little too low, I think. So let's do G, Z, bring them up and S, X to bring them together. And now we're going to go to face select mode over in this column, select that face and then delete and then face. And now you'll see we already have a basic outline for a t-shirt. However, we don't have nearly enough geometry for our cloth simulation. 
So the goal first off is to have everything in quad shapes. Like these are technically just oddly shaped squares. So let's create some more squares that are roughly the same size as those current squares over here. And now uh, with all these squares, I believe roughly we have stuff in the same size and shape. And just to know what I did there, I was just hitting Control R and then adding edge loops uh, to every area I thought we needed them. So now that I have kind of this quad look going on for the shirt, A, right click and subdivide. Now that's still not enough. So with that still selected, right click, subdivide, and yet again, right click, subdivide. And now this is purely preference at this point. So if I did a bake at this point with this amount of vertices, it would look great. Um, and it just depends on the consistency you want your cloth to be. I want a nice soft cloth for this character. I want it to look very flowing and with a lot of creases. So I'm going to add even more uh, vertices. So I'm going to do right click, subdivide. And this is definitely just about the max amount of vertices you should do for any simulation. Okay, so now that we have all of that, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here into sculpt mode, uh, hit your X, so mirror on the X axis, and then make sure you have your smooth brush selected. Now you can adjust your settings however you want. I'm gonna keep it like around 0.611. And I'm just going to smooth out right here on the collar to make it more rounded. And there we go. Maybe even a little bit more on the bottom. And kind of make sure your edges are still looking okay there. And that looks good enough for what I'm doing. Let's go to layout again. Select that t-shirt. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit E to extrude with everything selected. Move it back and same rule back here. It needs to be just past the back and the mesh of your character. Okay, so now let's head to face select mode and we're gonna delete some of these faces where your character's limbs are protruding from, like the waist, neck, and arms. So I'm gonna select right here where I want to delete all the faces for the neck to come out of. So I selected right here, hold control and now select over to the next face that you want deleted and it will select every face in between you want deleted as well and now you could just hit delete and just delete those faces however an even faster way of doing it is to now just hold shift and now hold control again and now you'll see that's still selected and i just selected these uh, faces for the arm and now rinse and repeat hold shift control hold shift and hold control and there's all the faces I'm gonna hit delete and now we have freed all of those areas so now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these faces but not get rid of the edges so to do that hit 3 on your keyboard to take you to this side view now toggle on x-ray mode and simply click and drag for all of these center faces hit delete and then say only faces and now you'll see literally we could just use uh, sewing mode at this point and it would more or less work however what we'd have most likely is some pretty nasty collisions uh, that would occur for these arms like going through the character and that is because with the sewing force we currently have uh, And the distance these sleeves are away from the character's body. We're gonna have a lot of issues. So first Let's move these sleeves closer to our character So the front sleeves are the ones that are gonna be the main problem So I'm gonna focus on those make sure you're in edge select mode and then select this edge up here and now hold control like we did before and select this edge or that will select every edge that we want to move but i also want to select these edges down here to move them closer to the arm so i'm going to again hold control and select those edges 
And I'm going to even take it a step further and hold control and select these edges. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. And with that done, I'm going to hop over here and make sure that proportional editing is on. And I usually just use the smooth editing or the smooth proportional editing, and that works just fine. And now from sculpt mode, we still have our X axis uh, copy enabled. We actually don't want that when messing with these. Sometimes it'll just make your thing move wonky. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that off. Hit G Y and let's see what exactly we need to do uh, in order to have this as close as possible. So you'll see we've got some weird pulling out right here. So now I'm just selecting random edges in there and I'm going to do G Y and bring that out again, like right around there. Okay. So yes, this looks terrible right now. I promise it'll probably look kind of okay once we do uh, the bake. So now just to show you guys how to look, let's head over to our modifiers, select your cloth and under your physics properties now with cloth enabled. Um, I have a preferred cloth settings already that I always use. If you want to know what those are, click on this video and check it out. Uh, but the most of this is focused on sewing and getting the t-shirt look. So once you have those settings how you would like them, um, then scroll on down and we're going to head over into the shape tab. And under shape, you'll see sewing. So we're going to enable sewing. We're also going to head to frame zero so it doesn't look so weird. So enable sewing. And then I think we're going to want to take down this shrink factor just a little bit. And that is basically the amount of pressure uh, our shirt is going to have when being sewn together. And if it's too much pressure, then it's going to go through your character, basically, is the best way I can think of to describe it. So let's down this. And now let's mess with our quality. We want that about 12. The distance. We're going to just take that all the way down under object collisions and then enable self collisions, but take that distance also all the way down. And for my character in its size, my gravity should be five. However, for a lot of you guys, that won't be the case. Just mess with the gravity according to how your simulation seems to be baking out. Okay, so now once I have all those things, make sure your character now under modifiers has a collision. Uh, on it. So I've got my armature, subdivision, and collision. Armature for your character should always be on top. And then everything under it, especially collision, should be on the, roughly the bottom. So now let's make sure our collision is set right. So mine just is already correct, but the only thing I changed on mine was the inner and thickness outer. I decreased the thickness outer all the way, and I decreased the thickness inner all the way. Okay. So now let's, with our shirt selected again, let's bake a simulation. However, it's automatically set to 250, so let's decrease that to 20 frames so it's not an insane amount and we can just see if our animation works at all. So now let's bake. This channel is called Beyond Blender. Rather than having all of these three exactly the same height, which is fine actually, there's nothing wrong with that. Here it is with the twist, and that's exactly what we want. So there you have it the final model for the wand. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, please make sure you come back for part two. For now, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you in part two. He does amazing work and the, although he didn't do anything in this video in particular with me, um, we have been talking back and forth and I am hopeful to do more projects with him in the future. So go check out his channel and look, He's at 924 subscribers. If we play our cards right, we can push him to a thousand. So let's do it. Let's push Beyond Blender to a thousand subscribers this video. And maybe while you're at it, if you're not already, subscribe to me, Hobby Hunt. <laughs> I will add a link in the description to their channel as well as now we have a boss design for our t-shirt. Okay, let's see how that bake turned out. 
And there's our bake for our t-shirt and I'm fairly happy with the results there. Uh, kind of some weird bagginess going on around this area. So there's a super easy way we can fix that bagginess that's happening in the chest area. Uh, one way is to go to this and literally smooth down these areas. However, another way that we're going to have to kind of do anyway would just be to uh, head over here, apply this cloth simulation, and head over to sculpt mode. And let's just sculpt down with our smooth brush still selected. Let's just smooth down some of these areas that are a little bit more uh, jagged and out there. And there we go. I think we've already got a fairly nice looking t-shirt. So now it's kind of up to you what you want to do. So we have these seams and I'll be honest, I think most t-shirts, you should leave these seams in uh, because that's what kind of makes them look like t-shirts to me at least. So I'm actually going to leave those seams and I'm just going to bake this again. So same exact thing. I'm going to head to the frame zero. And now I have an animation on my character. She's going to be making this cool little peace sign and showing off her shirt. So let's head to frame zero. My animation ends around frame 50. So I'm going to go to frame 60 so I give the shirt time to settle. And then let's do physics. Make sure the shirt's selected. I have a preset. Again, you can check out that video I linked before. And let's head down do frame 60. Quality is 12 and take the object collision distance down, self collision distance, take all the way down. Gravity, mine should be five. And we're already ready to bake. Sewing this time, however, for me at least, will most likely not be necessary because I already have the seams that I want for my shirt. So I don't need to sew it again. If I really want to make sure these seams are tight, however, you can sew it again, but usually that will just be overkill and unnecessary. Uh, so I'm fairly happy with the result we have here. Uh, there was a couple things that I did with the texture. However, I have multiple videos here. I'll put a link right up here in the top right hand corner for one of those videos going over textures for clothes uh, and how to add images. And all I did aside from uh, baking the animation as well is I did add a subdivision under the cloth, make sure you have the cloth on top of every modifier you add. So then I added a subdivision and then under that subdivision, I added a solidifier uh, just to kind of actually give the clothes a little bit of thickness. And there you have it. We have a pretty nice looking looser shirt. Uh, so thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope it was helpful in learning how to design shirts in Blender. I hope to cover more other clothes in the future, but yeah, there's a baggy t-shirt, very easy to do. Have a terrific day. Bye.